The NHL regular season has started once again. For us hockey fans, this means another 82 games of high-speed, high-stakes entertainment. It also means the beginning of new breakout stars, new storylines, and new award races. Each and every year, the race for Rookie of the Year is one of the NHL's most exciting storylines. Unlike most of the other NHL awards, the Calder Trophy always goes to someone who is mostly unknown, at least at the NHL level. Season after season, as the NHL gets younger and more rookies make their respective teams, the competition for the award becomes more fierce. Players such as Owen Power, Mason McTavish, and Matty Beneers are the favorites to win the award this year, but there's tons of talented rookies that are sliding under the radar with their chance to make their mark. Today we shine the spotlight on some of the less popular Calder Trophy contenders, profiling three players with unique talents in unique situations. But before we get into it, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Betstamp. Betstamp is a free sports betting resource that allows you to maximize your odds. Line shopping with Betstamp allows you to find the best deals for your bets and allows you to take advantage. You can view the major sports books available and ensure that you're playing at the ones with the best odds. Betstamp also offers verified bet tracking through their website. Betstamp's verification ensures that neither you nor anyone else can lie about their bets, allowing you to tail other users' picks, buy others' picks, or even sell your own betting picks royalty-free. Betstamp is completely free to use. Sign up at the link in the description to maximize your betting odds. First up, we have Dylan Holloway. Holloway is the most popular pick of the three, but someone I think has a much better chance at pushing for the award than people expect. Holloway was drafted by the Edmonton Oilers as their 14th overall pick in 2020. He was selected out of the University of Wisconsin, where he'd scored 17 points in 35 games in his draft season. The season after, Holloway more than doubled his point total in 12 less games, scoring 35 points in 23 games and placing third in the Big Ten in scoring. Holloway was second in Big Ten points per game, behind only Cole Caulfield, who is nearly a full year older than Holloway. After signing his entry-level deal with Edmonton on April 16, 2021, Holloway spent the 21-22 season with the Bakersfield Condors. He performed well, scoring 22 points in 33 games, but was nowhere near the top of the scoring charts like he was when playing in Wisconsin. Holloway also made his NHL debut that season, playing in Edmonton's final playoff game against the Colorado Avalanche. Holloway's AHL stats weren't particularly impressive, so it was by no means a guarantee that he would make the Oilers roster out of camp in 2022-23. However, Holloway impressed in preseason, scoring 6 points in 8 games, highlighted by a hat-trick and a 7-2 win over the Vancouver Canucks. He was named to the Oilers' opening roster and made his official regular season NHL debut this season. So, what gives Dylan Holloway an edge in the Calder race? Holloway is a very talented, high-draft pedigree rookie. These types of players are almost always played in the top six, as many rookies are. The thing is, when you play on the top six of the Edmonton Oilers as a winger, that means you are playing on a line with either Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisaitl. What the Oilers may have in Dylan Holloway could be exactly what the Leafs had in Michael Bunting last season. Playing with Matthews and Marner, Michael Bunting was able to elevate his game to the point where he finished in third place in Calder Trophy voting. Holloway might have already been a contender for the award, but in playing with two of the top producers in the NHL, his chances of winning are even bigger. Assuming Holloway clears the 10-game rookie trial run and stays in the top six, I think it's safe to say that he gets at least 40 points, and likely gets at least a few Calder votes by the end of the year. Next up is Logan Thompson. Logan Thompson is one of very few NHL goalies with the chance to win the Calder, and by far the most likely to win, although his chances are slim. Logan Thompson is an undrafted free agent who was signed by the Vegas Golden Knights on July 13, 2020. He was signed out of the South Carolina Stingrays of the ECHL and was likely never expected to be much more for the Vegas organization than a fourth or fifth string goalie. However, the very next season, in 2020-21, Thompson was statistically 
the best goaltender in the AHL, holding a .943 save percentage over 23 games. He also got the opportunity to make his NHL debut that same season, stopping two shots in eight minutes, but conceding zero goals. Despite his AHL success, Thompson was still slotted in as an AHL goalie for 21-22, as Robin Lehner and Laurent Bressois held the NHL starter and backup roles. But in March, injury issues flared up for Lehner, and Thompson got his opportunity to start in the NHL. As the Golden Knights pushed for the last playoff spot in the Western Conference, Thompson was a huge reason why they remained in the hunt. The injury-riddled squad leaned heavily on Thompson, but despite his best efforts, Vegas didn't make the playoffs. Thompson had done a great job, though, as the guy who was playing in the ECHL without an NHL contract only two seasons prior managed a .914 save percentage in the most important regular season games of Vegas' season. Still technically a rookie, in 2022-23, Thompson will be looking to help get the Golden Knights back into the playoffs. What gives Logan Thompson an edge in the Calder race? Unfortunately for Vegas, starting goaltender Robin Lehner has been ruled out and placed on LTIR. Additionally, backup goaltender Laurent Boursois has also been ruled out and placed on IR. The silver lining is that the Golden Knights now get to see exactly what they have in Logan Thompson. Entrusted with the opportunity to be the starter in the beginning of the season, Logan Thompson could easily get himself into the Calder race. The Vegas Golden Knights are, when healthy, likely a lock to be a playoff team. But given that they seem to have lots of trouble with injuries, Logan Thompson could be the player that makes or breaks Vegas' playoff chances. If he plays the whole season with the big club, has some notable moments, and helps Vegas make the playoffs, then Logan Thompson will absolutely receive some Calder votes. The final player for today is Elmer Soderblom. Soderblom is easily the biggest long shot of the three to win the Calder, but he's an incredibly unique prospect and someone that's super fun to watch. Drafted 159th overall in 2019 by the Detroit Red Wings, Soderblom has played his entire career prior to 2022-23 in Sweden. His first taste of top division action in the SHL was the year after his draft year. Soderblom played 10 games and had 0 points. The season afterwards, in 2020-2021, Soderblom played 28 SHL games and scored 3 goals and 5 total points. But then, last season, 21-22, he finally broke out. Playing 52 games for Forlunda HC in the SHL, Elmer Soderblom scored 21 goals and 33 total points, ranking him 5th in the league in U23 scoring. Coming over to America in 2022-23, Soderblom immediately made the Red Wings roster out of training camp and will hopefully stick on the team for the rest of the year. What gives Elmer Soderblom an edge in the Calder race? Soderblom is unique in a way that almost no other forwards in NHL history have been. Anyone watching footage of Soderblom can see that he's clearly very tall, but he isn't just tall, he's listed at 6 foot 8. That makes Soderblom only 1 inch smaller than Zdeno Chara and the joint second tallest player to ever play in the NHL. What's interesting is that Soderblom isn't really a traditional tall forward. Most big forwards play the power forward style, driving to the net hard and laying big hits. However, Soderblom is a skill guy, a skill guy that stands at 6 foot 8. Maybe he doesn't have the skill level of some of his highly touted rookie peers, but a player like Elmer Soderblom is a type of player that opposing teams have never really faced before. Soderblom's best chance at winning the Calder comes with the possibility that teams may not know how to deal with his combination of size and skill. He has a unique frame that allows him, if his ability pops, to become nearly unstoppable at the NHL level. The most likely scenario is that none of Dylan Holloway, Logan Thompson, or Elmer Soderblom win the Calder. After all, Holloway is likely the only one of the three that would even be in consideration to be in the top 10 favorites to win it. In competing against players like Owen Power, Mason McTavish, Matty Beniers, Uri Slavkovsky, Shane Wright, and more, it's hard to stand out as a favorite. Even still, Holloway, Thompson, and Soderblom are all going to be very fun players in 2022-23. If they stick at the NHL level, these three 
are going to be ones to watch for the future of the NHL.